Today, I wanted to share with you one tip that has helped me to declutter faster. This is part of my 15 minute decluttering series where I pick a space to declutter in just 15 minutes. And I am always, always surprised at how much I can get done in just 15 minutes. So here today, we are working on my master closet. This tends to be a spot that I just drop stuff. <laughs> Whenever there's something that I don't know what to do with, I don't know where to put it, it goes in my closet. I am really trying to get rid of this habit, but it's something I do. I have this pair of Doc Martin boots that I bought for my daughter a couple of years ago, and they ended up not fitting her, but she forgot to tell me. And so they've been sitting in her closet, collecting dust, brand new. Unfortunately, I cannot return them, so it's disappointing, but you know, that's just life. I know this sounds really simple, but in order to accomplish my goal of decluttering the space in just 15 minutes, I need to make quick decisions. It can be really hard. I don't want to declutter the Doc Martens, but we have no use for them. So out they go. But stick around because I talk about that in a little more detail later on in the video. Now, I don't know if you just caught that, but I have two pairs of basically the exact same boots, brand new, that I haven't worn. I was sure that I would really love these boots. I haven't worn them because I just don't think they look great with the jeans that I currently have, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. So I tried them on. I picked which pair I felt like fit better and which one was more comfortable, but honestly, they felt exactly the same. So I decided just to keep one and I'm gonna take the other one back. Next, I have a couple of home decor items. These were sitting next to one of our TVs upstairs and we decided we wanted to upgrade to a bigger one. They didn't fit on the mantle anymore. So I stuck them here in my closet deciding what to do with them. And now I just needed to make a quick decision and I decided we've had them for long enough and it's time for them to be donated. I have a really hard time passing up a good deal. And during Christmas, I found these really soft, cozy blankets at Costco. They were only eight or nine dollars. So I bought several of them. I kind of thought they would be a good gift, but I never found anybody that I was wanting to gift them to. So I do want to keep them. And that little bin there is a place that I do keep some other gifts but they don't fit. So I decided just to kind of shove those up in the top of my closet. If I don't end up giving them as a gift, I will open them and use them and replace them with some of our older blankets. I am really working on trying not to be so impulsive when I buy items. How about you? Do you struggle with impulsive buying? Leave a comment down below and let's chat about it. So this is a bin of items that I've just collected that need to go to the donation center. This is a swimming suit that my daughter wore a couple times and ended up not liking. It was also expensive, so it's also something Thing that I'm kind of having a hard time getting rid of. So I decided that I'm going to stick it in my drawer and I'm going to try it on. And if it doesn't fit, then it's going to go to the donation center. This is another bin of donations that I've collected that I need to take to the donation center. I just wanted to double check that they are all donations. I had kind of gotten a little bit lazy and stuck some things in there that didn't belong. Like on the top, I had a jacket that just needs to be returned. I've been searching for the perfect jacket and I've had a hard time finding what I want. So I did order a couple of them online that I didn't like. So I do need to return those to the store. I don't really want to keep doing that, but that's just kind of how it is. This dress and jacket were two items that I was questioning when I went through my closet last time. They are still sitting in here. I haven't worn them, so it's definitely time for these to go. Just a little reminder that there is a trick that you can hang all of your clothes backwards, and then when you wear them, you turn them the right way. So when you go through your closet again, all the clothes that are hanging backwards, you know you haven't worn in quite a while. This is a dress of my daughter's that needs a little bit of altering that she's asked me to help her with. I am not very good at sewing and I really am not very good at altering, but I told her I'd give it a try. It's still sitting here in my closet, so I don't know if I'll get around to it, but I'm going to give it a try hopefully soon. Here is another jacket that I purchased on my search for the perfect jacket. I had five minutes left here, so I decided I'm just going to try it on again see if I like it. And this one is more of a rain jacket. It's not exactly what I was going for, but I do really like it. And I have a rain jacket here that is quite a bit bigger than I need right now. So I decided to put that one away in my time will tell bin and keep the new one that I have. And this purple jacket, um, it's brand new. I didn't even realize it was in there. And here you go. Look, another jacket, a black one that doesn't fit. So the black one and the pink one are going to be going in my time will tell bin and the purple one I am going to be returning back to the store. And the reason I decided to keep this pink and black jacket is that I have lost quite a bit of weight and I just have a little bit of a fear that I'm going to be gaining some of that weight back and I don't really want to throw everything out. So I am keeping just a few items just in case. I know it's probably not the best thing, but that's just what I've decided to do. My shoes don't need any decluttering, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I've put a bunch of wire 
shelving here. I wasn't exactly sure where to put them. I actually do know now where to put them. I have a spot in my basement. I'm going to take a couple of these shelves and use them in a spot in my house that I need to do a little bit of reorganizing with. And if they don't work, then I am just going to put them down in my basement in a spot where I keep a bunch of other organizing bins and home decor that is extra. I like to keep some of those because I always, always am looking for something like that to use in some spot in my house and it's nice that I kind of have a little backup stock. Here I'm just moving everything into a box so that I can keep my bins and then also just putting a bunch of these things into a bag to take to the donation center. This is just a bin of stuff that I decluttered in my basement when I was cleaning out my linen closet down there. This coat here was another one of those items that I kind of had to make a quick decision on. I spent probably 10 seconds or less deciding if I wanted it. Again, it was too big and I decided that I am just going to get rid of it. So my one tip to declutter faster is to try to make quick decisions in 10 seconds or less. And here I am thinking about the boots once again. I just have to let them go. This is going to eat at me that we spent so much money on these and that they don't fit. But I didn't get anybody interested in them when I posted them online to try and sell. <sighs> This is hard, but I'm gonna let these go. So I have nine seconds left. I've got a nice big pile of stuff that needs to go to the donation center. I'm going to go stick that in my car. I'm gonna go stick that in my car as soon as I'm done filming and run those to the donation center today. I also have some returns. I'm gonna go stick those in my car as well and try and run some of those errands today if I can. I've got just a couple of things here like the lamp. Um, actually, I'm gonna put that back in my closet because I'm kind of waiting no, actually, I'm going to take it downstairs where I have some extra decor, organizing, storage type things, and then as well as those wire shelving, and then just a few other things like a box that needs to be thrown away, and then I have this. So this is kind of silly, but I bought this for Christmas. I bought it because it was really cheap on sale. So I ended up buying it. I haven't opened it, so I was just going to open it and go put it in my car. I think I have it a spot in my trunk that I can put it. Hopefully it will work. If not, then it's going to probably just go to the donation center. This was Amazon. I can't return it anymore. And it was really cheap, so I'm not too concerned about it. Also, all these Legos. I'm going to look through these real quick. Well, you know, this is not something I'm going to be able to do right away. I'm going to probably go through each set and make sure we have all the pieces, set them out, take pictures, try and sell them. If not, these are just going to I'd go be donated. Maybe I'll put them on my neighborhood Facebook page so that somebody can just take them if they'd like them. I was able to get everything decluttered and out of my closet in 15 minutes. It was really pretty easy. There wasn't a lot of stuff. I did have to make super quick decisions. Making those quick decisions made this 15 minute declutter go by really fast. I know that you can do this too. Set yourself a 15 minute timer and go find a space to declutter. I hope you found this motivating today and I'm so grateful that you were here. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.